Hello, Ben here, and in this video, I'm going to be looking at some custom firmware for the Quansheng radios by Foxtrot 4 Hotel Whiskey November. So, in the comments section of my recent which firmware video, somebody said had I tried the uh, firmware by F4HW. N Armel. So uh, I thought, no, I haven't, but we'll uh, give it a look. And um, yeah, it's actually uh, really good. So uh, we're going to have a, a little look at this. Uh, this power is based on the Exuma version 0.22, and it's um, his kind of customised version of it. So first of all, looking at the screen, then the layout is very similar to that of the Exuma firmware. Uh, you can see top left here. Um, You've got your PS for power save mode, so if we turn power save off that will disappear. Um, you've got your DW for dual watch, uh, CL, we'll come on to that shortly, and um, obviously you've got your, you can have your battery bars, you can have your battery presented shown, and um, your, your memory channels or your VFO, whichever you're in, that's all the same. Uh, slight difference on this, and you can change this, and we'll, I'll show you how to do it shortly. Um, Rather than just having uh, nothing for FM or and then an AM on a single sideband, you've actually got FM written there. Whereas if we just bring the uh, Exuma uh, firmware radio, and you can see where the FM is on that one, just under the uh, memory channel, uh, there's nothing when you're in uh, in FM mode on uh, on Exuma. So yeah, it actually displays uh, that we've got FM. And again, if you look at the uh, Exuma one moving along. You've got the uh, H to show that you're in high power, and then uh, N for narrow band. Uh, again, slightly different on uh, on uh, on RML's uh, firmware, or F4HWN's firmware. Uh, you can see that you've got uh, the actual word high, and that will change between high, uh, mid, and low, I believe. Um, you've got your frequency step displayed there, quite nicely as well. Obviously, this is very tiny, but uh, it does uh, does work, and it is readable. Um, that does say NAR, it doesn't look particularly like an N I suppose because of how, how small the screen is but um, NAR obviously for narrow um, or it'll change to wide if we change that and what's also nice is uh, you've got SQL level as well so your squelch level so you can see it's on squelch level 1 at the moment so when you change that in the uh, uh, in the in the menu there that will that will change with it uh, and again same as repeated on your uh, on your second VFO or second memory channel uh, and obviously you've got your uh, uh, they're the same would be for your uh, your scan banks one and two or or not at all so if I go into the menu then and I'll do the same on the uh, uh, Exuma um, version as well uh, we'll press the menu buttons and um, you can see straight away that there's uh, three extra options in the menus on the uh, the F4 HWN version and uh, some of the orders slightly different. Some of it is uh, very similar, um, but some of it's changed. I'm not going to go through the whole menu. Um, we'll just look at the uh, the changes. So the step is the same, uh, power is the same. Uh, we'll quickly flick through all these, and you'll see most of these uh, are are the same menu. It does uh, change there. There's a few of them have been changed around just for easiness, apparently for. Uh, things that you might want to access uh, sooner so I know he's moved a few of those around um, but let's scroll down uh, uh, right so you can see the uh, your button side buttons as well there's some extra functions on the side buttons which we'll talk about shortly um, battery saves the same yeah you still you can still adjust your mic All your backlight settings. Uh, I know he's changed that from backlight TRX so it uh, just reads a bit better. I think maybe that's on the next version. This is version 2.5. There's actually a version 2.6 out. Uh, so I think he's changed something on there as well. Although the orders changed, most things are uh, uh, pretty much the same. You can see on uh, on this one, it's got the uh, the system info, so it shows you uh, his his call sign and um, the version as well of that firmware. And 
yeah the squelch is right up here on menu uh, 54 so I'm not quite sure why he's put it so far away I suppose it's so you can reverse back to it uh, maybe that's easier but yeah the squelch has moved um, right up to 54 wheels I believe on uh, the Exuma uh, version it's quite early on isn't it uh, I know it's 60 on the Exuma one so yeah just one step up and it gives you uh, gives you squelch so um, a little bit further down on uh, on his but that's uh, that's all fine so we get to some of the uh, slightly more interesting fe features on here and you can see you've got set low so uh, you can set what power you want your uh, low power to be so currently it's set on one watt but if we go into the menu we can change it between one watt 20 milliwatts 125 milliwatts 250 milliwatts half a watt uh, and then back up to one watt again. So yeah, you can turn it right down to uh, to 20 milliwatts if you want to. Now I haven't tried this yet on the uh, uh, tried the output, but that'll be something for another video be to uh, to see uh, how accurate that is. But uh, that's nice to see that in there. So uh, let's put that back to uh, to one watt and uh, we'll exit that one. Um, set the push to talk. Set PTT. So currently it's on classic. Now if I come out of the menu. Um, in fact we didn't need to but you can see at the top here you've just got CL and I mentioned it earlier CL means that the push to talk is in classic mode so if I now push the push to talk and then uh, release it'll do exactly that the uh, it'll transmit mic 7 Foxtrot Remio Sierra test uh, you can't really see the red light very well but the uh, the red LED does come on if I change it to um, set push to talk to one push and then uh, select and then we'll come out of that uh, now you'll see it's on uh, OP or one push um, at the top there so basically that's a locking push to talk so if I now push the push to talk and then release mic 7 Foxtrot Romeo Sierra testing and then we press it again to uh, release the PTT so yeah you've got a, a locking PTT um, not quite sure uh, if I'd use that, I mean to be honest I do use uh, a radio when I'm at mobile so I suppose that would be quite good in the car if you're driving maybe uh, and you don't want to have a, a mic in your hand and you want to have a longer over you can uh, press and uh, release and then just talk, have your over and then press and then uh, to end it. I, I mean there is potential for uh, uh, leaving it locked on but again you still have got the timeout timer in there that you can set and it's uh, right next to it so uh, you can set a, uh, a timeout timer uh, is that timeout timer? I would have thought that would have been, but I wouldn't have. Uh, maybe there's a tone for the uh, the timeout time timer as well. Perhaps I think that's what that uh, what that one is. Um, there's a few other things in there. Uh, set invert as well, so you can invert the screen. Again, I know um, people have commented on that before about being able to invert the uh, the LCD display. So if we turn the um, inversion on and then we hit menu there you go you can have your uh, your screen inverted if you should you wish to do that uh, personally I'm not a fan of that so I'm going to switch that off uh, I don't know I haven't tried this on any other radio obviously I'm using the Quancheng UVK5 with the uh, white backlit screen I don't know how good that would look on the um, UVK5 a or K6 with the orange screen or even with the uh, the blue screen on the UV5R Plus. Um, but yeah, that's, that's not something I really want to play with, is the inversion, but if you want it there, that's uh, it's there. Um, right, so you can set the meter as well. So the meter options, you've got tiny or classic. So if we come out of the menu, uh, I've left it on tiny for now, and uh, if I open the squelch up, which is one of these buttons, uh, not that one, that one. There you go, so you can see our S meter here. Um, you've got your minus decibels there, like you've got your, your S meter and the bars that move across. Uh, and we can change that if we wanted to. So if I go back into that menu and we change from tiny to classic, and then we exit that, uh, you can see it goes back to the standard uh, five bar S meter still shows how many uh, uh, negative decibels and that kind of thing um, 
yeah so you can you can choose your meter which is quite nice i don't know if we've seen that in any other uh, firmwares but uh, yeah that's that's quite nice on this one uh, let's take the squelch off and then back in and you can also set the uh, GUI apparently so I'm not entirely sure what set GUI is but what it does if we change it from uh, tiny to classic and then exit um, you see we're back to uh, pretty much how the um, Exuma uh, firmware is on the layout so instead of having your tiny little um, high and uh, narrow and that kind of thing you just get the, the the capital letter so your H for your high and your N for narrow uh, your squelch is a little bit uh, bigger on there as well so again you might uh, might want to go for that one and obviously you still have got uh, FM where it's on Exuma like I said before you don't get any indication that just uh, you're just assuming that you're in FM mode if there's nothing displayed on the screen there um, so yeah we'll set that one to uh, to tiny again uh, and again, I say you can you can see the difference. It's gone back to the uh, the smaller word and on there. So I've gone back to menu 24, um, which is the changes the uh, short press of the F2 key, which is the bottom key there. And like I said, you can switch that between uh, uh, anything like like um, it changes between narrow and wide mode. You can have it doing nothing. You can have it putting the light on. Usual kind of stuff. You can program these side switches. But like I say, I've got that one set to um, switch PTT. Uh, so if I come out of that, uh, we'll select it and we'll come out of that. Um, what that does is, as we went into the menu, we could change between uh, classic or, um, or or the lock and PTT. Uh, you can see it's on classic at the moment. If I press that one, there you go. You can see it's now come OP there, so uh, that'll allow us to uh, use that locking PTT uh, if we want to. But like I said, you have to be a bit uh, wary that you're not uh, uh, keying up without uh, without knowing. Yes, yeah, so that's a really good little ad adaptation of the Exuma firmware by Armel F4HWN. And I'll stick a couple of links down below as to where you can find his version of the firmware and also uh, to his YouTube channel as well. Everything in, is in French in his uh, channel, but uh, I've watched a few of them. And uh, you can, if you, even if you don't understand French, you can certainly uh, understand what he's doing with the function keys and that kind of thing. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful as ever. If you have, please hit the like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. 7-3.